Take a look at shares of Broadcom. They're higher after reporting strong earnings and guidance. A lot of bullish street reaction today. Let's bring in Stephanie Link now. She owns the stock, joins us now on the phone. So, Steph, you sold, you, you trimmed some of the position ahead of the number. Just give me your, your, your take on it, what, what happened with the earnings and what your current psyche is on your position here. Sure. And thanks for having me, Scott. Um, I, I trimmed it on Tuesday because the stock was up 11 percent on no news. And I thought the expectations were really high headed into the print. They were really high. Um, but it was a really good quarter, and it was, a, it was a beat and a raise, and we know the CEO is proven to be very conservative. Um, but the focus really is all about AI and, and the guidance, and what they guided to was their customized AI chips and AI switches, which they are the number one player in these segments. That segment is going to be 15 percent of their semiconductor revenue this year, up from 10 percent last year, and it could grow to 25 percent next year. So you're talking about revenues going from 2.2 billion in this segment to five to six billion. So it's really, I mean, it's, it's. I always knew it was a great AI story, but it's really a growing and, and gaining momentum. Meanwhile, the rest of the business is kind of chugging along, and uh, they bought back 2.6 billion in stock. They have nine billion left. They're going to do 17.9 billion in free cash flow this year. So you get the buyback, you get the dividend, and you have an AI story. And I think you wrap it all up, and it's trading now at 19 times. Yesterday it was at 20. 21 times, but the numbers are gone, have gone up as a result of the better quarter and the excitement over AI. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm kind of, I'm not bummed that I sold it. I think it's prudent to sell, but I do think the story is still very much on track, and, and it's my way of playing the, the AI theme. You think there's too much froth in AI? I mean, going into numbers, there are several, you know, folks who have suggested, yeah, there's too much froth, and these companies come out, and they, for the most part, live up to the hype. Yeah, no, it's it's real. It's, I mean, these are uh, these are extraordinary numbers. I mean, to go from 10 percent of your AI business of revenue to 25 in two years' time, that's really a re really a big statement. And I, and again, I can't emphasize enough: the CEO is proven to be very conservative. So I think, yeah, I mean, AI is the real deal. Obviously, we've all been talking about it. Are these stocks extended? All of them? Yeah, probably in the short term. But I think the secular growth is still very favorable for the long term. All right. Steph, I appreciate you calling in. Thanks, Scott. That's Stephanie Link. All right.